Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to take just a few minutes to show you how I store and organize my Sensationelle gel polishes and offer you a few organizational tips that may help you with storing your gel polishes as well. What I did was I went to Lowe's Home Improvement Store. You could go to any home improvement store or discount store and I bought just a regular old pink toolbox. You could buy any color that you like. This toolbox here has a couple of pockets up on the top. There's two of them up here. Then on the inside, I will show you in a few moments how you can lift this tray up and it has a couple compartments there. But I just simply took some white paint and began to paint me on some zebra print. You can paint yours any way you want to. Mine still obviously needs a second coat, so I'm not quite finished yet. But you can just have fun with it, play around, and specialize your own compartment. Then on the inside here, you can see, though, that I am overabounding with my products here, and I'm already running out of space. On the bottom down here is where I still have all of my gel polishes that are in boxes that I have not yet color coded. But because I am starting to run out of room and have no space to close my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and color code some of these so I can move them up to this top shelf, saving me some space where I can pack a lot more polishes and just a small, simple container. When I ever get to that point and can do away with these boxes down here, then I can add some cardboard shelving down in here and make a couple of layers here as well. But as you can tell, because I'm all filled up, we need to start color coordinating some more of our polishes to get rid of boxes. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do today. How to take some of the gel, put a little bit on the cap, so that instead of having to pull this out every time to see, oh, what color is this one or what color is this one, I can simply look down from the top of my box and see a color or at least a color family that I may want to use, and then I can pull it out to make sure if it is the specific color of pink that I might would like, and it just helps make things a whole lot easier. So stick with me just a minute, and we're going to show you how to cure that polish on the top of your bottle lid. In order to color coordinate your bottle lids, you're going to need a dotting tool or toothpick, bobby pin, anything that you have that you can dip into your polish. You're going to need paper towels. You're going to need a, your polish, of course, and your Sensational lamp. And it's very, very easy to do. We simply want to open up the color that we want to mark the lid of. Make sure that there's still plenty on your brush at this point. Take your dotting tool or whatever kind of implement that you're going to use and just run it through that brush to get a good dollop right on the tip of that. Then you want to put it right around a circular motion on top of your lid. It'll kind of fill in the little hole and the little bubble that's there naturally. And when you have a good sized dot on there that you're satisfied with, go ahead and wipe off your dotting tool so you can lay it aside. Brush the excess off of your brush. Take your paper towel and wrap it around the brush like this. It is very important to guard your brush because when we put it in our lamp and turn our light on, the light is going to cure all the gel that it comes in contact with and you don't want your brush becoming dry and brittled with cured polish. If you happen to forget that step and you put your brush in there and the next thing you know, oh my goodness, it cured on top of my brush, you can simply dip your brush in pure acetone for just a little bit and then wipe it off. But in order to save yourself that trouble, I suggest that you wrap it up good. Then we're just going to stick the tip of that right in our lamp and we're going to go ahead and let it cure for the full one minute. Okay, now that polish will be cured on the top of there. So at this point, what you need to do is you need to take a little bit of your gel cleanser. You can just use the same paper towel and make sure that you wipe the moisture layer off of the top just like you would if you're polishing your nails. 
And once that's done, you can feel it, you can press on it, and you will be able to see that that gel is now hardened and cured on your lid so that whenever you put it back together and set it down inside of your container, you can easily see right from the top of the lid what color it is that you're looking for. I hope that this tip helped you, and I hope that it will help you become better organized with your Sensational Gel Storage as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on another episode of Divine Design.